Hi. So this is a VOD review for Vi, and this is actually for the patch. So she isn't buffed yet. Okay. And I'll link the runes that he's using in the description, but he's just using Dark Harvest, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Re Revenous Hunter, Legend, uh, Alex, I don't know how to say that word, and Coop de Grace. And so I agree with everything he, he's using, by the way, because I want to say this right off the bat is one thing that a lot of people wonder about is is Dark Harvest or what we call it? Uh, electricity, I believe it's called now. Electrocute. Electrocute is better. And for junglers, I say Dark Harvest is better because. A jungler should always be farming, so they should be constantly getting stacks uh, in between ganks. And also, if they get the gank, well, they can get, you know, more souls. And also, if it's the can wave, they get more souls as well. So, I think it's really good in that, like, in that way. Because I think if you're the type of jungler who doesn't really know how to jungle, or I don't, like, I don't really think there's many junglers nowadays that just are strictly supposed to roam. Just because everyone has mass farming capabilities in, in terms of top tier junglers. So, Dark Harvest isn't good for junglers that just camp bushes all day. And I think that's why a lot of people think Dark Har Harvest isn't that good. It's because they aren't farming, so it's not getting that potential that it can be having. And Electrocute is good, you know, so that's why Electrocute is better for those junglers that roam around. And the one thing with Electrocute is that. It has a cooldown. I believe it's like 20 to 50 seconds, depending on the level. And Dark Harvest has no cooldown. So if you're killing champions like a 2v1 and you land the last hit or, you know, collect the soul if someone else killed it, it means that you can have that charge again and get the second person and burst them down. So it has pretty much no cooldown. And if you're killing everyone, this is really, really good. And it's also good if you uh, kill someone in gank and you want to get the tower because then it'll help with the tower. And, uh, yeah, everything else I agree with. Like it's, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Like Remnant's Hunter and such. So everything's just like, it, it, I think I just think everything is self-explanatory. So let's continue with the VOD. And also, I'm gonna say this: he actually lost this game, but it's important to know that so that we can pay attention to what happened. You know, because based off the chart, he was winning quite hard. By like, well, hard by like four, five k. Then something happened. So we're going to find out what happened in this game. And it's potential that uh, it's, it might be possible that he might have won this game if Vi was buffed because she has a lot of sustain now. And look, her biggest problem before this patch was she has huge mobility problems because of how good all their champions are in uh, movement, especially junglers. Because her Q used to be really good because there wasn't so much uh, moving speed or like these agile champions, but now since they can all kite and such, you know, it's just, it's just hard to actually land her abilities or she just gets out farmed too easily. Everything's fine here, by the way. Starting W level 1 is fine. We're going to pay attention to this jungle clear, this is important. And right here, I did watch some of this VOD. Here he's killing the small wolves. I believe, by the way, this is probably correct, at least on Vi. Because Vi doesn't have much AoE. I think on Hecarim it's better to kill the big wolf first, obviously. On like any other AoE jungle, like Rek'Sai even, because she, uh, she can knock up the big wolf, which reduces damage. But Vi can't really do that, especially early levels, so... I think it's correct just because you kill them in the same time, and you have more HP. And here's the same thing with the Raptors, where he's just going to kill the small ones. Which you pretty much always do. And it's just nice knowing that if this was the later patch, she would have more HP right now. And, uh, I'm going to be honest. Like, this should always be the game plan. Like, she can't really do much because, um... You know, middle is pushed in and stuff like pretty much Vi wants to farm, okay, especially early on. Oh, and it might be hard to uh 
actually pay attention like accurately on what he can see and what information because this is a VOD he recorded, so it's sort of hard to be like, oh yeah, the general is probably here and like, oh my god, look, I'm correct. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. I personally don't really agree with that smite though, because you sort of want to have a charge for when you back with if uh, for like either dragon or if you buy a jungle item. So we're gonna see what this person does. I don't, I'll be honest. I I I should. I think they should have backed after the Krugs. I usually always do that. So instead, they're going to kill this Raptor. This Raptor might have not even been here though. That's the thing. So he potentially might have wasted time doing this. I'm not really sure what he's doing right now. Cause Kane's long done with his farm. So it's just, like I just feel like this is a big waste of time right now. He wards out. Let's see what he buys. He buys two long swords, that's fine. Oh, two long swords are probably gonna be. I, I'm gonna pause right here. Well, actually, no, we're gonna, we're gonna continue because he's supposed to do some farming right now. Um, well, actually, no. This is actually pretty important. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna rewind a bit. Is that, actually, important stuff happened. So. The thing is, is that since her mana cost on her E went down, I don't think getting the jungle item or even just the mana item is that important. I would have to, you know, actually, like, you would have to actually test it out. But I'm pretty sure that she can actually get away with two long swords. I think the thing with Vi is that she sort of needs that mana regain, pretty much, because her E, her, she just has so much mana problems. So, the two long swords are probably really good now. We're going to see how he copes with it, though. So, right here, his mid laner dies. And we're going to... See what his thought process is right now. I can't really see how many monsters are in the middle right now. You could maybe go and get those. Since middle does have, I think he probably should like look at look how big that wave is on the map. He definitely should have just went there. I'm not sure what he's doing right now. I would have that would be my first instinct. My middle dies. I'm like, okay, does he have TP or not? Because if not, I'm going there. So right now, yeah. So. We're gonna. He decided. I think he wants to gank bot him really bad. I think maybe he's making a decision to go gank bot. But I mean, it's a Janna, and I would have asked him like, do they have flashes? And if they do, uh, you're probably not gonna kill them. So you're pretty much wasting time. So I think this, the proper decision was to go to mid. But let's say he was right now. And you were just popping this game. I probably wouldn't gank bot him just because I don't see a point. I don't. I'm not a big fan of relieving pressure, especially in a game like this where you're playing Vi who needs items to carry the game and uh, one thing you could potentially do is so since Kane did this scuttle crab okay that means he probably didn't put a ward here so what you could do is you could potentially you know go and queue but the thing is that it's sort of risky as in this I can't really tell if well I can maybe tell so yeah here's the thing it is it would it would be a really risky move pretty much because like it's as you would see it's a new thing so Kane's there so he could potentially walk through the wall and stuff and he might have worded it actually beforehand but there's a very small gap of vision so really that's sort of a risky thing because right, okay so he's walking and you see it's a new scuttle crab so I think it's really dangerous to do dragon in this circumstance so I probably wouldn't do dragon so I would probably just went unfarmed if I was, if I popped in this game right now okay but you should have went middle so he's going for a gank. And right here, he makes a mistake, though. He charges his cube really early, okay? And again, there's, like, no way to actually hit him. I I'm not sure what happened with Morgana's binding. Like, like, I don't know. We're going to just look at her mana and see if she used it. So, she, she threw it right now, and she missed. So, that was really bad by Morgana. Probably should have hold held on to it. <laughs> What's so funny? No, no. Uh... <laughs> there was a sound that played because you just got 70, 70 mil divination, and I never heard that before. <laughs> yeah, the RuneScape music. Okay. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Morgana Missing Your Buying was pretty much a, like, if you pop into this game right now, 
and you're, for some reason you're in middle of the charge queue, you're not going to get killed. I'm already in the mindset you're not going to get killed anyone because we're going to miss your queue. So that's terrible. Because if she had her queue, you probably could have just walked up and like eat her or eat Jana with your red buff and then like just, just killed her, okay? So you charge the queue really early. You probably wouldn't have had to have uh, flashed. And I'll be honest, there, there's just no way this is going to work out like the Morgana flashing, exhausting. Like, why couldn't she flash bind earlier? You know, like I, I don't get players like that. Like, like just do something to make a play. You know, like, it's like Morgana has so much HP. Like, why not flash bind? Why you flash exhaust a, a jinx? It's gonna do nothing. But you know, we're not really like we can't help this person though. Okay, they have to seek help from like someone like me, and I would make a support bot review. Okay, so we have to just realize that people are bad at this game. So. Right now, just nothing's gonna happen. Once we're gonna miss Q, I, I honestly might even just backed out once we're gonna miss Q. Okay. But again, I don't agree with the ganking this if this, this lane has summers and Trist Tristan is, is just not gonna help with the, the gank. So it's a 2v2 gank, not a 2v3 gank. And just Tristan can't jump in and slow or do massive damage because she's just too low. She does have heal though. So if anything, it's more like, it's sort of like the bot lane didn't really do much. Like, we're gonna miss Q. She flashed exhaust for some reason, and Tristana had her summer, so she could have probably did something. She could have easily like jumped in. She, she has full mana. She had her jump. She could have jumped in and slowed and stuff like mid Q animation. So it's really just Tristana's fault because she could have flashed back and everything. So, and if Jinx flashed for the Tristana kill after Tristana flashed, Jinx would just die. So this bad play by the bot lane. That's why you just don't help lanes. Like because the ganking lanes is the mindset of you want to have them like carry the game like to have a high impact but the thing is you don't know these people you realize that everyone's just a random person okay so you don't know their skill you just have to focus on yourself there was a high ana analysis yep over one play so i i agree i agree with this right now so i'm not saying really much i like I, you should farm in a line like this. We're trying to make the best of the situation right now. And I'll be honest, I'm used to uh, you being blue and the enemy team being red all the time. So, yeah, just to saying that. Your bottom's going to get dived, but you can't really do anything about it. So yeah, I would yeah, you're invading. I would I would didn't be invading because Kane doesn't yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure what you're doing right now. Zero summoners. I'll be honest, I probably would have waited on that ward though. Seems like a waste, like I think a better word placement would have been like in the middle here to see what he's doing over in this side, because um, Kane's you know Kane's bottom means he's not gonna like somehow walk. He's not gonna walk, you know that way. He's gonna walk towards this. I don't know. What we call it intersection, I guess. So this is like timing of the word. Who the Azir dies by the way? Spoiler. And um, what? <laughs> well, I, I watched. I, I, this is pretty much up to the point where I watched. Okay, so Azir does something here. Does he flash? No, yeah, no, he doesn't. He heals. So I don't get this. So, guys, th this is Azir. For some reason, he sees a Vi as level six, holding it cute. For some reason, he walks forward, guys. We don't really know why he did this, but yeah, he just dies, and then he does this. So that was a great gank. How much mana did he have, actually? Okay, because I was just curious if, like, uh, if you ran away, if you went this way, like, how this would have went. You probably would have actually dumpstered both of them because Kane's only level five. So that's actually really interesting that Azir did this. It's as if this shouldn't even have happened this way, but okay. Yep, go right back to farming. First goal is always get that power spike of the AD item.
We're gonna see what you can buy. He almost has 80 item. Okay, I'm not sure how much gold he has all left, but if he backs early, maybe it's uh he's gonna have uh the item. Oh never mind, no, he bought the boots. I, I didn't I didn't think he was gonna buy boots, so I guess this was fine. Yeah, this is fine. It's fine. It's sort of iffy just backing for an AD item. Because you leave a lot of tempo play and farming patterns pretty much. He's gonna go for the red or the Krug. Going for the red is correct if he does something right after. If not, he should have went for the Krugs. I'm not sure why he didn't queue it right away. I guess because he plans on farming the Krugs. And if that's the case, he should have farmed the Krugs first. I would have also potentially warded my red in case the cane went by and was trying to steal after. So uh, yeah, he's actually gonna go gank. So not, uh, he just didn't use his Q. That's interesting. Does doesn't really matter too much though. So you have no ult right now. I would have just farmed honestly. That's the, like so. I'm not sure what, like, we're actually going to look at that top half, because again, I'm basing this off what I'm seeing right now. So, this Riven has like full HP and Kane's backing, so. This ward just died, which is actually hilarious. That's pretty lucky timing, honestly. Ooh, so. That was okay, I guess. Although, I mean, you probably could have had to keep back again. It happens, guys. So, so okay, this Kane ult, if he walks this, like. This this person should have ran straight north, honestly. So, if he went this way, he could have like went down and flashed, and then he might have just died, honestly, to Jax's Q. Because Jax does have flash. So, I'll be honest. I don't like because right now if you go north, I don't know why. Because he, if he goes this way, he's just dead. So that was the only possible way he would get away. Although she might have stunned you though, so maybe it doesn't matter. He flashed and killed himself, though. Uh, that is definitely not worth it, by the way, did what Jax did. I probably would've just stayed on her, by the way. Because, uh... Well, went back on her. Burst, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It just depends. Because, well, we do have Chilling Smite, though, so that's the thing. So maybe it was better just to go on her. Cause she, the thing is that she used her old one. So Riven's pretty garbage without her old one. That's the thing. Why is a better auto attacker? So it's hard to say what, what was the correct thing or what would have potentially killed her. That Rift Herald is gonna spawn soon. I would probably do the Rift Herald right now. Because the thing is that your top's pushed in. So you could easily go, like, he could easily help you if Kane came, or even to go help you right after. And so, I don't know. I think, I, I think that was something you should probably cut to mind. Doing those objectives. I'm trying to look for things. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! I'm trying to look for things to uh, like say about the mini map. But I think he was typing or something. I don't know. Because I, I don't. I don't like Abe King. I really don't like that. So you see this guy? He wasn't looking at you, obviously. Ooh, wait. What? Oh, you have no. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, that's fine. Was that a word? No, I'm just crazy. So, this, this cane might die. Ooh. 
Let's see what we could have possibly done here, guys. So... I'll be honest, they probably ran too far away. Probably. Maybe. No, maybe. I don't know. No. Maybe. Yeah, anyways, I think he did run him too far away. I don't think there's really anything you could have done here. Maybe you could have spanked him. Around. No, you already spanked him. I don't know. I guess you couldn't do anything. Although, do you have ult? No, you didn't. Well, that's really unlucky timing. What? This is a really, he, uh, everything here is really unfortunate. Like, I think the Zaya could have stayed. Because all she had to do was auto once. Or maybe twice. I mean. Oh, she did get an auto, so. You know what, guys? This is just very unfortunate. Everything that happened. <laughs> Everything. That's like. That's funny. Very unfortunate. Everything has went wrong. She stops his Q. That's what she held out there is. Uh, yeah, that Riven. I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't know if you're... I guess you're looking for him, but, like... Like, we're gonna look back a bit. So, you see Riven's pushing... Uh, pushing. <laughs> so, no, I, I don't know why it happened. <laughs> She's pushing. Okay? So, I, I was gonna say pussying. I don't know why I said that. She's not a pussy. Why, why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm just trying to be quiet. Okay. Well, I think I said it yesterday because we were doing some, 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 you know, morons. <laughs> you know, morons. Uh, we were what? Dealing with morons? A bit? Oh. We're being pussies. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to continue from here. So, you see Riven, she just pushed the lane. And so, that's very scary because that's your ward, so she's even going to get that ward. So, she either backed or is going down, so... Yeah, this is just really risky a bit. That fruit would have killed if you ate it. That guy just- This guy killed himself, guys. So that was pretty funny. This guy actually killed himself. Actually, remember this? Like, these people are, are like... Sort of greedy. Oh, there's no war. I don't think a war saw you. We went rewind. This is- No, yeah. Well... You saw you going that way. You saw you going that way, so that's actually pretty obvious. I'm not sure why Kane did that then. The Kane's sort of silly. Riven should have known that you were heading that way. That's because you, you went you took a hard left, not a complete north. That trinket was fine, I think. That river just keeps on passing by, it's really funny. I'm surprised you don't eat the fruit for mana. Or even eat the top off HP. I don't know about that smite since you did Q it, I believe. Yeah, so. Not sure about that. Okay. So, yeah, there's not that much to do here. You, you have just so much gold. You, 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 there's, there's a lot of money you have. I mean, I need to mute this. Give me a second. Uh... Right there. So I agree with the build water. Bilge water, I think it's called. Again, I can't really look at what's happening in the fight right now. It doesn't need to do, just, just go farm. I can't really tell. I, 
Looks like nothing really happened. So, you know, we're actually gonna look at everyone's items right now. I wanna see why they did that dragon. That distracted me before. It's probably because you died. No, no, yeah, because you're in the ward. So they went to do a dragon. Yeah, you can't really do much about that. So, you have an extremely heavy AD team. Your only mana is pretty much, I don't know, AP is like Jax, Swerve, Kalsa, Naruto, and Morgana. So it's been an issue. I, mean, I lost the game because of that. Hmm. Yeah. There's not much to say about the itemization from both sides. I'm just gonna look back. Okay. Um... I'll be honest, Jinx had no summoners. I, I, again, like, I do ask for summoners, guys. Like, you, you always communicate with your team, because, like, I think going for the support was fine if Jinx had Flash. If not, you should have went on the Jinx. Just because the Monsoon wouldn't have been enough to save her. But, um, we're gonna see if she dies anyway. Probably not, that's the thing. Unless you guys can potentially get the tower to die for her or something. Is this game the sports over, like, whatever? Unless they heavily deny her. This king is being stupid. Maybe. Looks like he's gonna die. Uh, yeah, he's just dead, guys. <laughs> this game's looking pretty good. Now we need to just go back for me, yeah. Again, the red is also a possibility right now because two people are dead. I wonder if this red troll can be neglected this whole game. Dead con. I mean, it really isn't, it's just neglected a lot, I don't know why. We're not sure why Riven's taking the blue buff on the enemy team. That's a Riven player. <laughs> it's just like, you know, but, but no one bitches at that, right? No mana, now I'm the jungler. Oh, that's okay, the top one gets blue buff. Typical Riven, Lee Sin, Ari, Yasuo player. I know, I know Yasuo should take blues. And Fizz from like 2013. Even though that does absolutely nothing for Yasuo. Mm -hmm. Literally nothing. Oh, sort of. P pretty much nothing. Ouch. <laughs> you lost two m melee minions. Oh, we have his Blade of the Rune King. Looks like no. Oh, he does. Good. Yeah. This is my. You have to end the game soon because uh, this is your old your old team is pretty much AD. It's really annoying. Ooh, you flash for that. Let's look at this. Oh. John was there. You're walking this way. Hmm. I I'll be honest. I I because. There was two things you could like went here and anticipated this, but also I don't think it mattered though because the same thing was gonna happen no matter what. He was just dead, you know. So yeah, this is correct. Like because you were like, okay, they're back out, and then he suddenly did not. But you know, it's like you you maybe could have taken account. Oh, that minion's celebrate. Like it's 
it's uh, pretty crazy, like what just happened. But you know, it's okay. It's pretty much the same result happened. Because no matter what, you you had a get home. All things tends to be like it's sort of weird because all thing. It's not as good as Flash if you need the ult to make a tempo play, but like if it's free gold, yeah, ulting's better than using Flash. But like if you if you want to pick someone off with Flash, that's better than picking someone with uh, your ult if they have like an extremely fed person you need to kill. That rift troll is being left alone. I would have probably went by and just went into that bush. I'm not like I don't know why you're defending this tower. I would have probably hit that trap when went into that bush and just waited. Raven face check. You, you can instantly kill it. Like you're just so strong with these two items. You're just you you're, you're just unkillable. And she would have face checked. And I I would have probably just have uh hmm. So you have smite right now. Probably would just auto eat auto or like didn't cuter to catch up with the showing smite and then she would have died. Ooh. I think you're gonna die here. Yeah. I think as soon as the river was in front of your face, you probably should have been on her, but like the thing is that she have ult. No she didn't. Yeah, you probably just auto driven to death, honestly. It's been an issue. Just ninja tabbies though, you don't. Probably would have bought ninja tabbies. Yeah, you should have bought ninja tabbies if you had the gold. I'm pretty sure you did. I still think you should have went in that bush. And if she, if, you, if she didn't face check, it means that there's no there is a ward, and you should have went and defend the tower. But if not, you gotta you would have got to kill. The cane went from mobility boost to ninja tabby. It's very interesting. Also, you're going for a black cleaver. Trinity Force is better on Vi, just because they nerfed black cleaver's damage so much that Trinity Force has more damage now, just because she already has a percentage shred. So it doesn't really do too much having more percentage shred. It, the training forces does more damage because of the shred itself and the attack speed and the proc works quite well. And also the, another big reason is that Vi, the big Vi, problem with Vi that I stopped playing her before was that she kept on getting movement speed nerfs. So the training force sort of makes up for that pretty hard. Vi so like Blade the King first before training force for the life steal. Even the damage. I think the damage is better than Blade of the Rune King than Trinity Force, especially early on. So, you know, we. I need to pay attention to this map. This, is, this map is just crazy. So. I don't know what the game plan is right now. It looks like. I probably would have been more aggressive, by the way. I would have just went around, like, instead of going this way. I, I like to make pressure and, like, surround them, make them, like, be scared a bit. I think being here doesn't, like, do too much. Although, he's might. No, he did that. Was Riven there? I think going the other way was better. Like, you, you, you need to be more aggressive. Like, the thing with me is that I farm a lot, but I make a lot of pressure. Like, I wouldn't have went this way. I would have went this way and went around and just attacked them. This river wasn't even there. You could just easily just went on them. 
like wait for this guy to go out and just attack them. Single someone out like Azir. Going here is just like you're using so much resources just on one guy. It just seems like you're not getting much out of it. Especially if something bad happens with your team right now. Which does look like it is happening. This is minion waves and I think I think that's all you. I don't know. Uh they see you, that's the thing. They do see you. Uh This is really bad guys. I I didn't just go. Oh it just spawned, didn't it? Oh that's That's something. I think my first reaction would have been to like just queue over the wall or just queue and hit that trap and then hope Joanna doesn't tornado that. She probably wouldn't just because she's probably not skilled enough. Yeah, this is really bad. This is really like I don't know, I just feel like I'm just watching you die right now. As I don't think that thing's gonna happen. Ooh. Maybe not guys. We probably should have ran away at this point. That was really good. But Why didn't no one ward this? Wait. So I'm just like looking at the what people have up. I mean, there's no ward. Yeah, it definitely shows right away because you knew the whole team was coming. They were just all there. So yeah, you just sort of kill yourself. I don't think anything good is going to happen here. Maybe. Oh. Uh... She could have just ran away. Oh <laughs> uh, well, that was. That was I, I still think you shouldn't have been put in that situation, but um, you definitely should have just ran away. Well, where did your team come from? One thing you could have potentially done, but again, is relying on RNG, sort of, because of the you don't know what vision they have. Is you could have just uh... yeah, you could have just like once you kill a Janet, you could have like chilling smited her and ran north, like yeah, like, right now just run north, and you they would you would they would have been lured into your team, like Azir might have dived in and died. I think you, may, you probably should just ran into your team if like you weren't sure like oh should you kill them and you kill and smite them. A dragon, cloud dragon is really nice. I don't agree that you don't have tier two boots yet. You're just losing a lot of movement speed right now. That's probably his biggest problem. No one did the Riftrail, did they? Nope, no one did the Riftrail the whole of this game. It's so funny. Like, the thing is that you're dying at these really bad times. I think you're sort of like falling off. I stomps. If you just don't die. Oh. I don't like these games where there's, there's no tempo. Hard to tell what's going on. You do have all. I mean, I'm not sure why you guys didn't contest that dragon, or maybe you just didn't know his job. It's hard to tell again. I mean, it's pretty obvious they're gonna do the dragon. I'm not sure why she backed. Castle sort of backed. She backed for a pickaxe and a dagger. Sorry, mining. Apparently. 
I, I still think they should have fought that. Potentially fight that. This pressure, but. This is hard to tell because I just don't see the perspective. I don't see what abilities they're using. It's hard. It's really hard to judge. Jax could easily do Baron. Right, you see his. I, I, I'm not sure if you can see his ear back. I might. You guys could have. Man, you guys could have easily done the Baron. I don't like that you did this. You hit this thing and it makes it obvious you're there. You could have easily done the Baron. I didn't even check it. Man. Like, this Baron wins games. Like, the, like the, the Ninja Tabby as well. Like, the, Jax can tank it though. But just doing that would just end the game pretty much. The game winning thing. I'm not sure what, what this is. This is really confusing to me. I just feel like there's so much you could be doing with the lead. With all of the lead's being pretty much lost at this point. You didn't, what did you even back for? Nothing? You backed for nothing, I'm not sure what you backed for. I don't know what you backed for, there was no reason to buy. That, that seems like the biggest waste of time, you pretty much just did nothing there. Like, you, you just did Grom. Yeah. Mm. yeah, well don't back if you have nothing to buy, and plus you had pretty much full mana, so I don't know why you back. You didn't buy anything. When the word put there? Is that word early? Why don't you put it after? Like it was very late. That was so much lighter. Yeah, it would have been dead. I, I don't know what you're doing right now. <laughs> like, maybe, like, so, right now, it's like, I, I, I just feel like there's just these opportunities you're not seizing and there's nothing to do. Because right now, at this point, all the lanes are reset, besides mid. Like, I guess you could have went mid right now. Or just waiting a bush, like that bush or something. I oh, just farm. Oh man. I just feel like the more you wait, the more you're gonna lose this game. That Baron would have been so nice. I'm not sure what Jax is doing. He's been hard, he beat him, went hard on his ear. He's very dies. One for one with my TP. I don't know if you can beat her, no. Maybe? Oh, you did. Good. I just feel like your power is like, sort of weak. Like, that's like with Black Cleavers, that doesn't really do too much with like... Unless it's like a Mega Tank, but even then Trinity Force does more damage. You know, during that whole time, your, your team just died. I'm not sure what they did, like... She's full HP and only been attacked Jinx the entire time. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what your team did. They should have just did Baron. I'm not sure why they even just went for the top tower. What are they going to do for Baron after? Hmm. So, yeah. I guess what he did was fine. So your team just died. You just need to be doing things that benefit the team. As in winning. I think he saw you. Maybe he didn't. Um. He's good. Dead. Okay. Wow. That tower range didn't attack you. This Janna might die. If she's like stupid. Oh. Wait. I, I feel like you should. You, you need to just release the Q right away. Like right here. Like right now. Just. Like that. And say like. Oh. you that Like you should have went off like. Like, not even right now, like... I'm gonna pause it as soon as I, I would win. There she comes. Wait. I wanna be picky, though. It's hard, it's hard to... Like, cause I, now my mind is anticipating, like, I, I already... Like, I, I don't wanna be like an asshole right now. But I'm being serious, like, so right now... Charge, go. Just like... Like, like one more nanosecond. Just... Honestly, he probably would've died. Anyway, though. I, I don't know. It's, it's really hard to tell. But the only way you would live is to get your your uh, Q charge up. It's pretty rough. That's when you wish that uh, that mastery existed, where you get more HP when you're low. Although she did get HP buffs. So again, that's really this is really nitpicky. Maybe you have died. Regardless, it, that was just pretty much if your passive proc would win or not. Realistically, she could have, she should have lived in all circumstances if she was a good player. So, I don't think it really matters so much. I think that's extremely nitpicky. But it's just something to keep in mind that you either realize that your only survival circumstances you have to hit your passive. Oh no, you're AFK. AFK's not good. Should be farming. During this time you're AFK, you could have killed wolves. No way of Henry. You still don't want boots, so I don't know why. And also, you're building a Randwin's Omen against a team that o that's only crit. I think, I'm not sure if Kane's ult is like a crit hit in terms of how it's coded. I. I'm not even sure if Jinx's ult is coded as a crit. I don't think so. Maybe. But regardless, Thormail probably would have been better overall. I would only get. I mean, like, I know she's, like, winning really hard. But Thormail's is really good against. Like, she has a. I don't know. I, I just feel like it's just better. Like, even if she's fed, it just builds into better items. Like, you could build, like, a Warren's Mail, which helps against everyone. Oh, no, your Q got wasted. Let's see what happened. Could have potentially went for that Jinx. But again, I feel like you can't even kill her. That's the, and that's the reason you go Trinity Forces, so you can actually one-shot her. You can't really one-shot people with their, this Black Cleaver build. Yeah, your team is sort of dying right now. This is really, really bad. Mm. You could have potentially just altered the Azir. Like, cause right here, like you're attacking her, and like she's about to die. You could have just ulted her or him rather from right here, or even Jana. But like, I'm pretty sure you could have reached the Azir and just holding Jana or whatever. It's very annoying that middle tower is not gone yet. I would definitely just kill the Azir. 
You just need to, like, go. I'm not sure why you're, like, I don't know, like, okay. I guess that's okay, guys. I just find it iffy that you're not building ninjas heavy first and yet you're building an item against the carry and they're all AD. Just, you shouldn't neglect ninja heavy, it's usually your second or third item. Either after Blade of the Rune King if you have the gold for it. Like, for instance, if you can buy a phage. Well, I think if you had enough for a phage, I think it's better to buy a ninja tabby and then a long sword. And then, cause it's just like, it's very rare it's not worth buying after your Blade of the Rune King. You need a ult. Like, do you have a ult? Yeah, you do. What the heck? This is an issue. So, you, like, if you didn't just have, you could have tamed this way better, by the way. So, your whole goal is, like, you just, you know, like, their they're, they're AP is dead. So, you, all, their only person that can kill your whole team is the Jinx. And so, she's here. I think, I don't know, like, why is this Tristana doing? I don't know why Tristana moved like this. Like, she should have stayed here, and as soon as this happened, she should have walked this way and ran away. So, I don't know why she walked into the pit, because this is just bad. You, all you have to do right here is just go in ult, ult the Jinx. That's all. She had, she had no flash. All you have to do is ult the Jinx right now. Instead, she was like, glittering her kill. I, I, I really feel like you, you could have probably won that. I don't know why Tristan went that way, though. Where did Tristan even die? She died a Baron. Oh my god. That just sounded so bad. I don't know why she did that. But, oh. I, I still think your best chance was just to go on them. And if you had Ninja Tab, you, you could have potentially tanked it more than Jax. Yeah. This is late game. You just need to, like you need to realize that the, like the, the only two carries really on their team is uh, Azir and Jinx. The assassin is uh, Kane, and the, your support should be taking care of that and potentially your top laner. And like it's just that the it's just like the Jinx was right in front of you guys pretty much, and Ed Kane failed his uh, assault pretty much. This game's looking really rough. Again, you, it's like it's tw pretty much three minutes in the game, and you still have to have a ninja tabby. Like the ninja tabby is like the game winning game item. I've been saying so for three years, and it took three years for people to realize it's OP, and then come, all complain about it. I take full credit, even though no one gives me credit. I still feel like you could win this game, but we will see what happens. So you all did. Um. Yeah, so you guys just died. And that's the thing. I feel like you might have killed the Azir if you had Trinity Force. This is, you have no burst. Like, this team has no tanks. So going Black Cleaver especially doesn't make sense. I would only do it if, like, your whole team... Like, I would only do it if the entire team was just a bunch of, like, two tanks for some reason. But, like, a jungle top and... J a jungle and a top that's pink. But even then, Trinity Force does more damage. Like, pretty much all the time. So, yeah, please just build up. I'm not sure really, this doesn't really, like, show much. This is your team doing things. So I can't really say much about what they're doing, because you can't control them. It says if you know a better idea in your mind, be sure to ping them. Just spam ping back. What? 
This is hard to tell if it was a good idea to go in. I'm not looking. I can't see the abilities they use. Potentially would have been a good idea to go on them, though. So, if this game is over, the whole team is dead. There's no way you're going to win. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, I think I pretty much went over everything. Don't you think, Alan? I don't know. <clears throat> like, um. I just feel like he was indecisive a lot. I think there was a lot of plays he could have done with what he had. There's ways to tell if something's worded, and then, like, if it's not worded, just do the other option. But, like, instead of doing the option where he could gain something huge, he... He just acts like there's a ward I, there already. I, which I think is... there is a lot of um, underestimating his power, like how strong Vi can be. And going Black Cleaver is a really big mistake because there's no tank, so I don't know why you even thought. And I still think that even if it's a, t it's a double tank team, it's better to go Trinity Force. Yeah, it's always good to obviously go in to a game with a plan, but always. Yeah, I know, don't. I think I have a backup plan. Yeah, and you, you I don't have to think of the. You have what? to think on the fly. Yeah, and he had such a late ninja tabby, so he's really slow, and that's one of my biggest problems. Yeah, because she's had consecutive... Like, uh, he didn't even lose this game because the enemy team built armor. All their champions were champions that had to build damage, or they'd be irrelevant. So it wasn't even because their team was all AD. It, I feel like he just lost this game just because of missed opportunities. Like, Rift Herald, nothing happened with there. Could have did the Baron... Like if if they were if they were came you could have just ran away there was no way they could have killed you because they can't kill Baron themselves so they can't do anything to take advantage of that and so I think regarding your build though I think the Black Cleaver rush was fine you know after the warrior but then I think you should always build Ninja Tabby like don't build a Phage in regular boots just go with Ninja Tabby and then you know Phage and um, yeah I I think Thornmail is better overall because. It's, the life steal stop is better. It's like an offend. It, it does damage essentially instead of just being a strictly tank item. Random tends to be a, a strictly tank item if you need to survive like something. Like I don't want to build out like a Jinx and Yasuo on the team. And even then, it's again, it's like random is just like so good against these teams because like especially if your team has no CC or like he's a lot of solo fights, Stormails is gonna be a thousand times better pretty much. Even chilling smite and chilling smite's fine on Vi, because she sort of needs it to hit her Q or an after after using the Q. So, I guess that's really it. And uh, yeah, so I guess I hope this helped. So, bye.